case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1992 case of Eastman Kodak Company v. Image Technical Services, Inc., the Supreme Court of the United States focused on whether Kodak's restrictive parts policy violated antitrust laws, which prohibit anti-competitive behavior. Eighteen independent service organizations, ISOs, alleged that Kodak's policies unlawfully limited the availability of parts to ISOs and made it difficult for them to compete with Kodak in servicing their equipment. Initially, the district court granted summary judgment in favor of Kodak. However, the Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit reversed this decision finding sufficient evidence to raise a genuine issue concerning Kodak's market power in the service and parts markets. The Supreme Court granted certiorari and ultimately found evidence that Kodak had market power to raise prices and eliminate competition in the aftermarkets. The Supreme Court held that Kodak's restrictive parts policy had violated antitrust laws, affirming the denial of summary judgment on the respondent's Section 1 claim. The court found genuine issues for trial regarding Kodak's monopolization or attempted monopolization of service and parts markets. Due to factual questions surrounding each claimed justification, the summary judgment was deemed inappropriate. The Court of Appeals' decision to deny summary judgment was affirmed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.